Yo, hello trainers, Ganeto here, and today we're diving together into Holiday Cup of Great League with a lot of action by a double ghost backline. Not only that, but also we're leading with Altaria, which seems like a very safe lead overall. With that said, at the back we have Palosand, which is our main anti Vigoroth Pokemon, but as you can see, our whole team can cover Vigoroth as well. This Pokemon might carry the move Rock Slide to threat even our Altaria. But still Altaria is too bulky for those uh, moves and can handle even double super effective moves sometimes. So at the back we're gonna have a second ghost, this time on the face of the Sidwai, the Hawkeye from Avengers and of course this Pokemon will avenge the other two Pokemon on the end game for sure. So you're having kind of a very strong team especially on those charge attacks and I think that you are not gonna regret at all using this team because today we're gonna check out this team even against the worst possible scenarios. So my opponent here is having a Palusand of their own and I'm gonna go straight for the Shadow Ball because I have the energy lead. Down they go in one shot, let's go trainers and now at the back they have that Skarmory. I know that Shadow Ball will not be enough to finish off so instead I will try to get my hands on the Scorching Suns just in case I can debuff this Pokemon a little bit. So here comes now another Scorching Suns from my side but before we get there we have to tank the following Sky Attack. Hopefully we can do that with 1 HP remaining, get the shield and right after all we have to do at this point is to reach to the Shadow Sneak to guarantee the victory for the first battle. Let's go trainers, absolutely awesome to get a nice victory with our Decidueye as our closer. Fairy types now are a pain in the wings for our Altaria and we have to play accordingly. So Palusand coming in as a perfect safe switch for this incident while we still keep another ghost type at the back. However, uh, this new version of uh, Wigglytuff learning a much faster charge attacks like Icy Wind and Disarming Voice might be kinda clutch for the end game so it all uh, matters in the end so we need some seals for sure, yeah we cannot spend them now. On the plus side here we can absolutely go ahead and get out of this uh, battle with our Palosan with 100 energy remaining which is pretty great and crucial at this point since we can go for a double Scorching Suns for that uh, following uh, weekly tough. Here comes the first one and another one to bring that weekly tough pretty low. They want to start blocking of course so here it comes with a debuff and we're just gonna bring now into play our Decidueye. I'm trying to catch a move here on the Altaria, this is not gonna happen uh, but still those discharges are not gonna do enough damage. I was trying to cut something like a crunch or an egg scissor but of course they have discharge over here and my sky attack will not be enough to one shot down but the following Drango Breaths will and to be honest I do not care a lot about my uh, Altaria because in no time at all they will just uh, destroy me down with those charms. So I have a lot of energy to spend here with a glassy Pokemon but can still survive uh, those uh, following charms. Uh, by blocking here whatever move obviously the ice wind uh, we're just gonna be able to one shot down from whatever range they are with a simple brave bird and the seed why will grab this victory for us into the next one now trainers let me drink them tea because we're having a very bad lead on the face of uh, Dugong and not only this Pokemon is gonna wall down my Altaria but also at the back it is not looking that great. It has ice moves for my Palosan and of course can easily destroy down my Decidueye if we are not careful at all. And also we're kinda glassy over here even up against a uh, tanky Pokemon like Dugong. So here comes the Vigoroth which is pretty crucial at this point and pretty good for me. I still wonder what they might have at the back even worse than uh, Vigoroth to uh, showcase this Pokemon up against my Palosan and all I have to do at this point is to go ahead and throw my Scorching Suns to my surprise we get the debuff which is pretty good and now they cannot farm down right on time and then another one is coming from my end not even gonna go for more than an ice here and we're gonna go down now to that uh, lantern so there was a lantern at the back uh, hopefully we can have a much safer environment here by completely destroying down that poor Dugong and all I want to do here is to block the following move whatever that might be and I want to just farm down with those leaf ages. 
So now Lantern will return to the battle, but we have the Shadow Sneak to start grabbing some shields out of play. We can always throw an energy ball, just remember that. And I will try to catch the move on my Altaria. They happen to throw the Surf here, which is pretty crucial. And right after, we have enough energy to unleash on their side. Even if that is gonna be a Thunderbolt, we can easily survive, bring them to almost no HP with a Falling Moonblast. Look at that trainers, and we can absolutely grab an overwhelming victory over our opponent. Now with Arctibugs, I'm pretty sure that this Pokemon is kind of a troublemaker, especially for our team, but all we have to do here is to just stay in and hope for the best. This is gonna be kind of a lucky situation as you can see here, I don't know what is happening lately in Go Battle League, I was off a few days and yeah, nothing changed at all. So then we go now to that uh, Dragon Clock, hopefully my shield was not spent for no reason I guess And right after we're just gonna block here the Avalanche, I wasn't expecting that And we're gonna have a ton of energy for the next matchup Able to get here to the Shadow Ball, they are gonna block but we are almost there to another one I'm thinking here that I have to block no matter what and still reach to the Shadow Ball for the Nook This is gonna be enough for that Kofa Grigus to almost faint and we can easily farm some extra with our Decidueye To our surprise at the back they have a Lantern, I'm just kidding, no surprise at all Everyone is having either a Lantern or a Tal Flame at the back and our Decidueye will be on a very good spot on one of these two. So without seals even the Brave Bird can finish off some unsuspected fire types so there goes that. Down they go and one more leaf aids for that Arctibax and we're gonna take the victory once again with the Sidwai as our Hawkeye closer. So against Skarmory you might be wondering, okay Ganeto, this is a steel type up against a dragon type, but if you remember from the earlier seasons of uh, Go Battle League, this was a very, very neutral matchup for both ends. So all you have to do here is to go straight for those sky attacks, and to be fair, they're gonna do exactly the same. So I'm just gonna block ones because my backline will not be that great by completely farm farming down that opposing uh, Skarmory without uh, sweating a lot. So all I want to do here is to press uh, this uh uh, this Karmory as low as I can on the HP levels so that then I can farm down with those no damaging at all mad shots. Now at the back they have a Pokemon like Town of Flame and I want to get my hands on that Scorchic Sands. We managed to get the debuff on their end. This is pretty crucial and as you saw my Earth, my uh, Earth, my ground move did almost no damage at all. So now I'm gonna get to the Nook and the Shadow Ball. Perhaps they thought I was gonna get to another Scorchic Sands but but I know better and I'm just gonna nook down that bird. Now at the back they have the charger bug and all I have to do at this point is to go ahead and throw the bait and then the nook. We managed to get the bait on the shield and now all that remains is to get our hands on that brave bird. We can do it, down goes charger bug for sure after this amazing nook and we can grab a very close victory. I'm drinking tea all the time, I have to, my throat is kinda weird as well, so let's see what is going on here on the next battle. So Sableye now with a foul play, we can easily survive one, but the second one not so much. I'm getting a little bit of over farm and then reach to the sky attack. As it seems my backline will be kinda scared against that dark typing of Sableye, so we need to be kinda careful on that. So here comes now the sky attack and I want to block my Altaria so that I can bring that Sableye as low as possible and we managed to get the knockout on their end. This is pretty good for us because now at the back they have a Pokemon like this Dunspurs which can still do a lot of the work up against our backline being pretty neutral uh, but still we have our uh, the Seedwai coming in pretty clutch. So here comes now the Fresh Plant I believe, no reason to get here to the superpower and after over farming a lot I'm just gonna get on that Brave Bird range. So let's see if that is gonna be enough, of course it will, but uh, they managed to block, this is what I meant to say, and another move is imminent. So Fresi Plant is coming off and all we have to do here is to get to another Brave Bird to destroy down Chestnut. Now they have the return of the Dunspurs and I believe that one Scorchic Suns might actually do the trick here. They have Dig, not even Drill Run, and they're gonna get to another one for big damage, but hopefully here we can survive both of their moves because Dunspurs isn't that great offensively and we can grab that victory at the end with that final Scorchic Sands. 
into the final one now trainers and we're having the runerigus up against us this pokemon can be kind of bad for our backline but still kind of even at the same time so i'm just happy that i encountered it with my altaria and we're gonna be just fine here on the end game as well uh, since uh, they do not seem to have kind of uh, a rough team up against us so here comes out dabgul another pretty neutral pokemon and this is the reason that i hate uh, neutral teams you never seem to have the upper hand over your opponents so here this uh, dabgul will be uh, almost enough to finish off my altaria but i do not care at all because at some point i can still bring my mad shots with my palosant and still farm down some crucial energy from this range as you can see here we can do exactly that right after they have the rune regus which we can easily destroy down with a simple shadow ball and of course at the back remains a vigoroth and you know what's coming already the back out from my opponent we can grab this amazing victory to end this video so that is gonna be all for day trainers thank you for watching and for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you are new to my content and with that said i have two videos for you to check out feel free to check them out and i will see you all into the next one